food pantry day. Let's check on the mini fridge. Okay, it's pretty empty. That's good. I've got a few things that I'm kind of at the bottom of the barrel with, like this coconut milk. Got a little bit of room on the door. So let's go to the food pantry and see what we can find this week. My name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's food pantry haul. Now for a look at the meats. We got these uh, chicken thighs here, organic, that's nice. Because this is one package, but because of the weight of the items, this counted as two items instead of one, but I'm so happy to get this. We're gonna take a look at the perishable items and please stay tuned for the score of the week under the little yellow tab. We've got another strawberry eclair. These things are so good. I was really glad they, they had one this week. This is a really big container of blueberries. So I'm gonna sort through this and pick out any bad ones. We got two organic girl salads, one there, the other there. Then we've got roasted veggies. We got a big vegetable tray. I'm trying to eat more vegetables, so this is really helpful. Then we got this lovely fruit tart. I'm not sure what to do with this. These are called crumpets. I'm gonna try to figure that out, but it looked really good. Kinda looks like an English muffin or a pancake. And this is really neat. We got a meatloaf with gravy meal. And then we've got a barbecued pulled pork meal. I really like these ready to eat meals because with the heat, I can just put it on a plate, microwave it, and I don't have to get the house hot. So that's really, really nice. Now for a look at the non-perishable items. First up, we've got a small can of pineapple. I like the small cans because sometimes that's all you need. And then we got the big can of pears, two cans of green beans, tomato paste, pink salmon. This was a good find. There is a dent in the can, but I think it's okay. We got oatmeal, pinto beans, sweet relish, two cans of Amy's soup. One of them already expired or best by date was last month, but I think it's fine. And then four little milks, some red lentils, the best by date was a year ago, but I'm still gonna um, cook this up. And then we've got some mashed potatoes. So those are some really good non-perishable items. And a look at the kitchen and bathroom supplies. First, we've got paper towels. We've got the two rolls of toilet paper. And I do want to say that it's a two-ply toilet paper. And this is pretty soft. One of our subscribers asked about it. It's not exactly like Charmin, which I think is the probably the best toilet paper, but it's more like quilted northern. It's a good toilet paper. And if you're going to buy on Amazon, I think most people would be happy with this particular brand. We got some children's liquid melatonin. Even though I'm not a child anymore, I'm still going to use this. <laughs> and we've got some Myers Clean Day Body Wash. I'm gonna give that a try, see how that works out for me. If I don't like it as a body wash, I can always use it as hand soap. So I'm pretty happy with these kitchen and bathroom supplies. Okay, let's take a look at the countertop perishables. First up, we've got these Food Lion croissants, a four pack. Each croissant has 34 carbohydrates in it. And then we've got this uh, bread from Trader Joe's for two slices. It has 25 carbs. And the cookies is where it gets really tricky. So one ultimate chocolate chip cookie, 25 carbohydrates. The macaroon, 25, and my favorite cranberry cookie with almonds, 15. Now this is a nice treat. I very rarely see stuff like this at the food pantry, 
but these are some type of uh, figs from Spain. So that was really great. I'm excited to try these. But these are the countertop perishables, and I'm going to try to um, not eat all of those cookies at once. <laughs> but with a cold glass of milk, I could. It looks really delicious. All right, now for the score of the week. Ta-da! We've got some barbecue seasoned chicken. I don't see cooked chicken at the food pantry very often, and I really like chicken, so this is nice. And I'm just gonna heat and serve. This is really great. It's gonna help me get my protein intake up a little bit. Really excited about this. I'll show you this little cooler I got from my thrift store. It was $7 half off, so I got this Coleman cooler for $3.50. And I've got the chicken in there because I've got to get this over to my friend's house. Hey, let me show you how I make room in the mini fridge. Well, you can see this reusable container is more of a rectangle and this one is square and just a couple of inches saved using this can help me with the storage. So I transferred all of the food into the container and that fits perfect. Look at that. Get this lid snapped on. That's going to work a whole lot better than this container. Let's do this one next. I don't like the smell of the macaroni and cheese. It doesn't smell rotten. It just smells kind of weird. So I'm, I'm not going to include this. Well, number two, ready for the mini fridge. This is two stacked plastic containers that are not going in the mini fridge. That's great. It's going to save me a lot of space. Look, a coupon. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. I don't know how much Organic Girl costs in the stores, but if I buy it, I'll save 55 cents. Making room in the mini fridge. Okay, that's what I took out of the salad. That's what's left over. Now we've got the veggie tray. We're gonna doctor this salad up a little bit. That's good until September. So I'm gonna save the ranch veggie dip. Okay, I took a little celery and I chopped that up into the salad mixture it goes. On these tomatoes. Okay, I know I've got some salad dressings up here, but I'm gonna use this one try to use this up. That looks good. Let's add these tomatoes. And seeds I already have on hand. Flower seeds. And a little carrot. I did pop in a couple extra tomatoes. This looks good to me. This is my food pantry meal to save space in my mini fridge. I have one last container available. Let's see if I can get all of this in here. Fantastic, look at that. I almost forgot I had these blueberries. All right, got a few blueberries here. I'm gonna rinse these off. Letting these dry just a little bit on the paper towel. Into the salad it goes. I have the tiniest bit of French fettle left and I am using it for this salad. Well, this salad turned out better than I thought, but that's how you can take a lot of miscellaneous ingredients from your food pantry and make something really good. Time to sort the berries. Not bad, those were the berries that needed to be pulled to save all of these berries here. The big question is, did it all fit? Let's take a look. All right, after moving the ready to eat meals into these containers and the vegetable tray into this container, sorting through the blueberries to save as many as I could. Look at all that, it fits pretty good. Just taking a few extra steps really makes a big difference. It's looking good.
already hating one of the croissants. This is the Food Lion brand. I've got it the Wegmans brand from the food pantry before and it looks really fancy and it is, but the Food Lion brand is actually better in my opinion. Ah, the strawberry eclair. Look at this one. It doesn't have nearly as much powdered sugar as last week. And I did the math right this time. Okay, so I cut this into two pieces to save me some carbohydrates. Gosh, doesn't that look good? It's lunchtime. Well, it's a dump run day. Maybe we'll find something special dumpster diving. Let's find out. Well, we found a few things to look at and I got a couple things. Let me show you what it is. Well, this is what I found at the dump. It's a little dusty, but I'll clean this off. And I got a set, so they had two, which was great. And then I found this. I don't know what this is for, but I think I can use it for something in the future. Look at that, look at that. I'm about to get into this chicken. I cannot wait. I'm gonna reheat this thigh. While the chicken's reheating, let me show you these spices I put together. I saved these spice jars. I put sweet basil, thyme, oregano, regular basil, and black pepper in this little jar. It kind of smells like Mrs. Dash, kind of like aromatherapy. If you're into the healing arts, clear your mind, so to speak. And spices can really sort of make you feel better if you get a scent that you really like. I'll just open this up and smell it. it. has such an invigorating type of aroma to it. All right, let's check this chicken out. Ooh, that looks good. Here's lunch. I got the chicken thigh. I got the roasted vegetables. And I did put my homemade spice blend on top of the vegetables. This smells really good. I, I feel so blessed to have this meal. I can't even tell you how much joy a piece of cooked chicken brings me. It just makes me feel like, like it's a Sunday meal. It's really, it's a good smell. It's good memories that come to mind. I'm, I'm really gonna enjoy this one. Well, I had to turn my washer around, so I was able to check for leaks at the hoses. It's been making a funny noise. You know, these appliances, they're just not really made to last like they used to be. I had the laundry detergent on the floor so I could just get to it easily to put it in the washer. But what I'm doing now is my bathroom is right over here. I wasn't really using the space that much. started putting some of the laundry supplies right here. Just added that to the washer. I'm putting that back underneath the sink. I'm using my space a little bit more efficiently because I could have all of that detergent over here on the floor, but putting it in the bathroom and then being able to close the doors, it just makes things a little bit neater and a little bit more tidy. Okay, I already added my detergent. I'm just gonna wash a couple of things here. I do small loads because my washer makes a lot of noise. And <laughs> if, if, I, if I do small loads, it's not that bad. All right, my pants, I just put those on the dryer rack. I have it positioned for the AC. When it, the unit turns on, it'll blow that cold air up and it'll help dry the clothing. I'm already using the air conditioning resource, so why not use it to help dry my clothing? I have these little containers and I pre-measured out some of the chia seed that I'm taking every day. And that way I can just dump it into the water like that. Oh, it's sticking, let me fix that. I just mix this into the water and I let it sit for 25 minutes. I went to Food Lion and I did a grocery fill-in. I got some rosemary and parsley and added it to my spice mix. Here's lunch, green beans, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf. I'm using the small plate and this is half of the original meal. A three pound bag of apples, Food Lion brand, was $4.99. Trying to eat an apple every day all right, got my little apple cut up. Here's my snack. I've got apple with some cinnamon on top, and then I've got a big scoop of peanut butter. All right, let's take a garden break. 
this is my peppermint right here. Then I've got some English lavender. This has taken forever to come up. I really hope these two plants start to grow a little bit more. All right, let's check this weather. Oh, it's starting to come down a little bit. Rainy July. Oh boy, that's a big storm. Ugh. Here comes the sun. Here's the last piece of chicken. Look at my little flowers. They're still alive. It's been over a week. I think it's been two weeks now. Well, I'm looking at the ingredients on this bread. It's a lot of stuff in here, but I'm looking for bioengineered ingredients and I don't see it, so that's good. Look how tiny this bread is. It's like the size of the palm of my hand. This is gonna be a really cute little sandwich. Here's lunch. Cute little peanut butter and banana sandwich. All of it came from the food pantry except the banana. Let me show you what I do with this empty container. I made some trail mix. I put it in the container and I've got a piece of tape on here with all of the ingredients. So I've got some fruit. I've got a bunch of different seeds and nuts in here and I just shake it up, pop the lid off, get a couple big spoonfuls. I put it in a small dish, that way I don't overeat on it. I think that looks really good. It's a nice little snack to have. It's a great way to get your nuts and seeds in here. It's been a great day. I'm just relaxing, having some cold brew tea, and I'm working on my puzzle. Please stay with me while I show you what I do with all this food right here. I think it's gonna turn out real good. Time to get to chopping. Celery is not in the best shape, but I can still work with it. That's good. That's what's left over, and that's what I chopped away. Chopped that pretty thin, but I'm not done. All chopped up. I think these are still good. It says June, but I'm going to open this up and see if anything's slimy. I think these are okay. Letting these little carrots dry just a bit. Look at all of the beautiful colors of these carrots. These are very unusual. I love all these little cooked carrots. That's so cute. These are the pieces I chopped away. Got the onion from Food Lion. Alright, let's transfer all these vegetables to the Instant Pot. For the meat! This was not an easy open package. The padding that the meat sits on is still in there. So I'm not going to get full this time and cook it like I did that one other time. This is looking pretty good. My homemade spice and spice it up. I had to take the lid off because I couldn't shake all that spice out. And a little salt and a little garlic. This is garlic powder, not garlic salt. Of course, a little extra black pepper. Using the lentil soup that the Best Buy date was last month, but I'm sure it's still fine on the shelf, but I just want to use it up. About a half a can of water. Okay, let's set this timer. While that's heating up and gets to cooking, I've tidied up the kitchen. Phew, that's a big job. You've got two more minutes on the Instant Pot. And I got this decaf coffee the other day and I just opened it up today. So I'm really looking forward to making a little pot of coffee tomorrow morning. I did make one pot already and it came out pretty good. This is not like a super strong coffee. So 
if you are on that on that uh, decaf lifestyle, I would recommend this Food Lion brand. Okay, this is all done. I'm just waiting for the metal piece to drop down. Once it drops, I can open this up and show you exactly how this stew turned out. Okay, I'm putting my cord away. I try to keep things neat and tidy. Tidy up as I go. I thought it dropped. Still gotta wait. All right, the metal piece dropped. It's time to open. Oh, that smells really good. Let's give this a stir. That's perfect. The meat is just falling apart. That's great. Let's get that soup in the containers. I already had dinner tonight, so I'm going to put this up in the mini fridge, but I will show you tomorrow what this looks like heated up and how it actually tastes. It smells fantastic. I to add something. Diced tomatoes. Just drain some of the juice. I'll have this in the morning. And then on the uh, soup, I've got the tomatoes added. I just think that'll be a nice flavor when I heat this up tomorrow. In the fridge it goes. All right, it's the next day and time to heat this up. A little bit of toast to go with this delicious soup. Let's give this a try. Okay, this is really good. The bread is tasty with the butter, the lentil soup with the beef added, the can of diced tomatoes, and then all the vegetables from the food pantry. Really good combination. The only thing I purchased to make this meal was the butter and also the onion. The rest of the ingredients were completely free from the local food pantry. If you have not applied to your food pantry yet and you need help, please give your food, food pantry a call. Grocery stores, they're, they're gonna throw this food out, so don't be ashamed to get you some free food if you need it. And thank you for watching this video to the end. I appreciate all of your support. And if you like this type of content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.